Bee Plant fam. It's early. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is my her name is Jacqueline. <laughs> my name is David. Clearly, caffeine is needed. This is not our jungle. This mm -hmm. is Home Depot in Southington. Southington, Southington Connecticut. And uh, we're surrounded by cute little birdies and crappy weather, but we're gonna go look at plants. Why are we here? <laughs> so we can look at plants. All right, perfect. So we got it. That's this is why good. we always go to Home Depot. Yes, to look at plants. We're so at plants. we've been here before. You guys know the drill. He's never been here. This is the weird, the weird Home Depot. Um, they don't have a lot either, but you never know. I think so. that weird, like no, like, like the like look all at the it. employees no, wear like flippers. The garden center, you can't see it from here. Yeah, it's it is a little. Yeah, it's structurally, it's, weird. it's just different. Is this like a newer Home Depot, maybe? Probably. Are they just getting weird? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's go um, see what they have. Yeah, the first time I was here, I was like, "This is an interesting." It looks like a like a, a little bit like a castle. It's Castle Home Depot. <laughs> interesting. I don't know. They don't usually have much, but also you never know. Do you think they have like that 16 foot skeleton? I don't think so yet. I don't think they got Halloween stuff yet. They do in the other ones. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. Um, oh, she's watering them. Okay, fam. So we are at the Home Depot in Southington. Connecticut in case you missed it for some reason and I am just checking out these Leaf joy plants. I think from proven winners is what they're called They have a couple of different ficus in here and they have this Sad dead plant that who is even surprised was an alocasia <laughs> Not me looks like maybe a uh, they needed to water these a little bit ago. <laughs> Some Calathea. Um, and then they have this ficus Ali, Ali I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, looking pretty sparse. I have no idea what happened to this leaf. <laughs> um, but this is a Monstera deliciosa. Um, and then down here we have some more ficus, some prayer plants, philodendron birkin hiding in here, and a Monstera deliciosa that managed to actually come out pretty decent. Those ones are $30. And then over here we have some cacti, nothing um, really out of the ordinary here. They do have some really nice euphorbia hiding in the back here. I know that that large one is a chocolate drop and I'm wondering why mine never grows leaves on the top like that one. Um, I probably don't water it enough is the only logical thing that I can think of, but with those larger cacti and euphorbia, I never know when to water them. So that's kind of a problem sometimes. But over here we have some ferns and some calathea. I see some bromeliads hiding in here and these are $13.98 in these terracotta pots some more dracaena and stuff down there over here we have some money trees some manjula pothos these are actually looking really really nice for $5.48 definitely not mad about that and they have tons of it they also have some philodendron Brazil hanging out over here. I thought that this leaf was pretty funny. It's really big and it came out all neon, which I've never seen it do before. Um, Brazil can definitely give you some really wacky variegation sometimes, but I've never seen it do that. So just your usual assorted foliage here. Some cute little syngoniums. I see some little pink photonias hiding in there. They had this really nice looking Calathea that I don't know the name of. I think those are $15 or $14.98. Um, this nice snake plant over here. This begonia is definitely seen better days. And then they have some golden pothos hanging baskets, um, some peperomia, little syngoniums, nothing really that we haven't 
seen pretty much the usual stuff, some Hartley philodendron, and then they did have this cute little, um, I think this is Pearls and Jade Pothos, and I'm pretty sure that these are $13, $15, something along those lines. There was no price on that one. Staghorn fern down here, some spider plants. Um, and then all your floor plants over here, the usual stuff, this really nice looking Diefenbachia hanging out here, some ficus, lots of snake plants, and then they had this Peace Lily Sensation for $26.98. So not a terrible selection of the more common stuff. It looks like this stuff maybe moves out of here a little bit faster than other things, so this stock is relatively new got some regular anthuriums around the corner here some of this peperomia shumi red lots and lots of global green pothos i'm sure that they're like growing in overabundance of it over there at costa farms this xanthosoma i can talk xanthosoma lindenii looking pretty sad but she did just water it so hopefully it'll perk up um, and this syndapsis as well, hopefully, will perk up and look cute so somebody will take it home. I see a cute little aglionema hiding back there that I skipped over. And the ZZ Raven is just really pretty when the petioles or the leaves, whatever you want to call them, come in green. Their leaves. I don't know why I said petioles. Their leaves. I'm not tired. You're tired. And they fade to black. Anyway, $26.98 for this Aglionema with the cute white edges on it. I think it's a really cute um, Aglionema variety uh, that I just never see small though. So if I ever saw a small one, I'd probably snag one. Um, and these all just were looking really droopy, floppy, sad. So hopefully some of them will perk back up um, because they were just watered. Over here around the corner, I did find some philodendron brandy actually looking really nice in full. I wouldn't count on it staying looking nice and full, but they did look cute. I was just telling David that um, this plant is awful, even though it's beautiful. And they had some Hartley philodendron, some different fern species, and these are $7.98 in these smaller terracotta pots definitely a gorgeous plant you know i love silver variegation but i just can't i can't do it with the brandy it grows stupid the leaves get stuck it's not a fun plant to grow so cute little syngonium down here lots more cacti i like these blue ones and there were a couple little variegated opuntia hiding back there but nothing really super exciting over here we had another little set up where there was this philodendron mayoi which is probably the nicest thing that i've seen in here in terms of like just the stuff that we don't normally see thirty dollars for this one um this ficus umbellata was looking a little bit beat but very tall and i do like this plant i'm just afraid that it's not gonna do well in my space um and that's really it, you guys, for the Home Depot in Southington, Connecticut. So Home Depot was a bust. Yeah, pretty much. And now we're at Walmart, well, where there's really loud music. So, so I'm gonna not talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're not gonna open. They don't even have anything in there. There's some plants. No, there's not. There's literally one rack. <laughs> you could just film it from here. There's literally one rack of plants, and hear. then they usually have trending tropicals right here, but they're just like, nah. Literally nothing. Nothing. All right, never mind. Yeah, that was bad. That was, <laughs> was really bad. They might have stuff like inside when you walk in. Sometimes they do that, but. That was comically bad. <laughs> I'm like, the doors aren't even opening. Does we Walmart this... just like not open their garden center in August? They have like this giant garden center and like four plants. We're going to Lowe's now. Yeah, let's go to Lowe's now. Lowe's better have something. We shall see. That yeah. was bad. That was really bad. I'm thrilled I didn't have to go to a <laughs> <laughs> I hate that stuff.
Okay fam, so now we are at the Lowe's in Southington, Connecticut, and thank goodness they look like they're fully stocked with lots of plants to look at and birds, apparently. <laughs> so off to my right here, we have some trending tropicals going on, some ZZ Raven, some Aglionema, the Xanthosoma is down here looking nice and healthy, and some Raftophora hayi. Around on the other side here, we have some Alocasia poly. These are really big and beautiful, and they're only $12.98, which is nice because they don't come in like a decorative pot or anything, so you can get them for a little bit cheaper. And I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous, even though I really don't do well with Alocasia. I love the look of them, so lots of floor plants over here nothing really out of the ordinary some calathea over here these are all 1998 we've got some tetrasperma some syndapsis trubii and more raffidophora hayi with these cute little mushrooms <laughs> in the pot which are adorable so over here we have some plants from live trends i'm always attracted to this basket it's kind of like a wicker looking style basket but the plant inside of it definitely needs some love and attention 25.98 for that one we've got all of our succulents and some cute little bonsais going on over here um, $16.98 for these hanging pots of different pothos and philodendron varieties. Really, really cute. Not mad about those. And then we have some more pothos varieties over here in these hanging planters. Um, these are terracotta with some cute little macrame. We've got some golden pothos, some pearls and jade and it looks like some marble queen as well so like every variety you could think of for 23.98 for these ones really really cute definitely not mad about that and then we have some urban jungle plants over here this croton is like very very yellow this rattlesnake calathea is super stinking cute i think these are 13.98 they did raise the price by a dollar and then they had this Trubii Syndapsis um, from a different company, which is always nice to see. We've got some Dracaena and some sad peace lilies hiding down here, hanging baskets of ferns, this um, cute Diphenbachia, but this Aglionema did catch my eye. Um, I did see one, I think, in Home Depot earlier, but I skipped over it. So I wanted to make sure I showed you guys this for $22.98. I don't know what type of Aglionema it is, but I do think it's really stinking cute. I like the subtle pink stems and veining on it. Um, some more ferns. This cute little synapsis that David rearranged. <laughs> he literally pulled it out from the back and put it in the front because he thought it was cute for $19.98 and he's not wrong it definitely needs a loving home some of these leaves are yellowing from inconsistent watering in this place so take it home and it'll be a lot happier $15.98 for these hanging baskets different syngonium varieties this cute little rabbit foot fern nothing really that we haven't seen already or have been seeing for the most part at all of the big box stores so same thing for over here, the usual assorted foliage and some more hanging baskets of Syngonium, Fetonia, another Syngonium, another Fetonia, more Syngoniums, a fern, Syngoniums, Pothos, <laughs> a David being silly, but this is why we keep them around for, for entertainment purposes. <laughs> they did have some cute little begonias over here as well for $7.98. These are the slightly bigger containers, so they're a little bit more pricey. This is a Rex begonia, so they definitely like a uh, higher humidity and a little bit more water if you can, but um, they're just not for me. <laughs> I usually kill them, but that's fine. I thought that this Fetonia basket was actually pretty cute with the mixed colors in there and the little, the little blooms. They also had some Marble Queen pothos 
hiding in the mix here which you know i'm never mad about some little peperomias here lemon button ferns are also really adorable and then around the corner on the other side it's kind of actually hard to see what's on the other side here but that's fine because there's plants in the way but they did have this really cute peperomia scandens it looks like a philodendron but it's actually a peperomia for 1998 um and then the rest of those hanging baskets were kind of just the same stuff that we've been seeing anyway some really cute little air plant holders over here um they had another hanging basket of the syndapsis i don't know why i thought there were plants in this box they're just plant stands there's no plants in this box um they had some more marble queen over here lots of marble queen to go around and then i spotted this really cute little syngonium and i was like huh this is different i've never seen this in the store before i've seen it before i've seen it sold before i've just never seen it in a big box store and of course it just says syngonium podophyllum arrowhead plant which is very very helpful cost of farms we really do genuinely appreciate that I have no idea what this is at the time that I filmed this, but I came home after going plant shopping and I kept on saying, I feel like it's called like a magic star or like something magic or something star and I could not for the life of me figure it out. I came home and I went on the plant story app into a live sale and the first plant she's holding up is literally this one and it's called Syngonium Starlight. So this is the Synchonium Starlight. I'm gonna ask you guys at the end of this video if you can help me ID it, but I no longer need your help IDing it. So Syngonium Starlight, definitely leave me some star emojis <laughs> in the comments below um, in honor of my Syngonium Starlight. So just checking out what else is going on here. We do have this cute uh, Monstera Adansonii just hanging out over here all by its lonesome from Costa Farms Trending Tropicals for 1998. They had this nice Aglionema Silver Bay on the floor here. Some more floor plants, lots of fiddle leaf figs, a whole sea of red anthuriums here. I'm trying to figure out why the leaf is red on that one too. I thought that was a little bit odd. But um, I do love the emergent leaves on this. And you guys know I love the one with the dark blooms. Mine is still alive, miraculously. So um, hopefully we can keep on keeping that thing happy and grow it nice and big. They did have these cute Aglionema commutatum. I'm pretty sure these are. In these Wick and Grow containers from Costa Farms for $15.98 some ferns lots of ponytail palms over here some more fiddle leaf figs and back around the corner david's trying to figure out <laughs> he's using those those apps where you take pictures and you're trying to figure out what the plant is it's really cute um anyway over here we have some more assorted foliage some aurelia variegated aurelia and then around the corner here we just have some more of these live trends pots with this one has some synapsis in it i really really don't like these pots at all 1898 for this one and then we have some more just like dracaena some snake plants some calathea hiding back there i see a couple of peperomia in the mix they did have a couple of nice um, pothos enjoy, which I'm never mad about. These are really cute and really clean looking. I really enjoy the variegation on those ones. There's a couple. We have some heartleaf philodendron, some maranta, and no shortage of ferns and dracaena, of course. Some more hanging baskets for $16.98. I do think this one is really cute with the Marble Queen pothos in it i like the design of the pot as well so i'm definitely not mad about that one and then honestly the rest is just the usual stuff we've got some aglionema here for 15.98 some pothos and these cute aglionema that i don't know the name of but they are really cute and um i am a sucker for a good synapsis so just taking another look at this one 
not really looking like anything out of the ordinary is happening here except for that syngonium over here in the really cute sunny window we have this Syndapsis Orchid mix, which I actually think is a really cute combination. And then they did have a couple of these hanging baskets of variegated lipstick plant. I see these all the time and it says variegated on the tag, but they're honestly never variegated. They'll have like maybe one variegated leaf. So this one has a few vines of really nice variegation on it, and the leaves are pretty big, so I'm definitely not mad about finding that, but this one is even nicer. It's a little bit more straggly, but look at the variegation on this plant. Is this not gorgeous? I was really tempted to get this, but I honestly don't need it, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to propagate, so it's not really like worth it for me but look at the variegation on these leaves is that not gorgeous absolutely stunning definitely not mad about finding that definitely come and snag it if you are in the area these are really hard to come by especially in a big basket like that it just needs a little bit of love so outside here we have some more succulents and cacti i'm still looking for one of those like wavy brain cacti that looks nice i haven't found them again since we saw them last time and i'm kind of bummed um i probably should have snagged one but i was like girl you don't need it but it was a really interesting cactus i at least want to like show it to david and um see if he likes it some more succulents over here cacti nothing really out of the ordinary they are really pretty and colorful to look at though so i do like to check them out there's some really big echeveria hanging out up here never mad about those these are really fun to plant outside if you live in like a warmer climate for sure david was just saying that he really likes that um dunkin donuts cup plant that's a nice plant <laughs> They have some variegated Opuntia over here for $6.98, and then they actually had some larger ones for $12.98 over here, and I'm definitely not mad about that. Mine's like looking a little bit sad lately. I don't think I water it enough. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think the Opuntia are just like a little bit thirstier than others, and um, that's it for the lows. <laughs> There you have it, folks. <laughs> that was the Lowe's. Walmart was my favorite. The Lowe's is always the best. Yeah. Um, they didn't have a ton of like anything new or exciting, especially not from Trending Tropicals, but um, we did find this cute Syngonium. I need a thumbnail. Can you not? Oh, all right. Can you make a, a thumbnail face? <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. What's a thumbnail face? <laughs> um... <laughs> So we picked up this Syngonium. I don't know the name. It looks like Three Kings, but I know it's not Three Kings. The leaves are like really narrow. And I know one of you knows. So I need you to help me figure out what this Syngonium is. Ooh, planty identification. Because I've never seen it in the store. And I thought it was really cute, especially that leaf. Look at that leaf. That's Look at so this leaf. Cute. And there's a ton of plant hair. So I'm going to be separating it out and uh, selling it. So if you want some, I'm doing a sale on my Instagram uh, this week. So stay tuned for that. And um, let me know what this is. Because <laughs> it's cute. So I didn't want to leave it behind. I knew I would be mad if I didn't pick it up. So maybe I'll keep a little baby one for myself to put in one of the uh, reptile enclosures. Because it's the only place the Syngonium will be happy. Right. But that is it for this video, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us, even though the first two spots were kind of a flop. And we didn't really find anything super exciting. But I'm not mad about this Syngonium right here. Even though I am mad that it literally just says Syngonium Podophyllum on it. And it doesn't <laughs> tell me what type it is. But that's fine. I appreciate you, Costa Farms. I can always just, like, ask them, too. But anyway. Yeah. If you enjoyed hanging out with us, say so you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks.
<laughs> if not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. Cannot do this without you guys. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!